Hello everyone. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial we will be discussing how to add radio button to custom property interface using property tab builder. This is very interesting tool that we can use to allow user to select only one of set of predefined options. Let's begin and stay tuned. Go ahead and click on SOLIDWORKS RESOURCES tab on the task pane and then select property tab builder. This is property tab builder dialog box and it has got three columns. All the elements that we can use to build the interface are in the first column and the middle column is used to build the property interface as required and the last column is used to modify each individual item properties. First of all, before anything is highlighted, we can change the property template type, type of the property template. Now we are going to add these properties to this part file, so the type is part. Select the type as part and in this box you can actually add a message this message will appear on the top of the interface but it is really not necessary let's begin with the interface adding elements that we want remember always all the element has to be inside a group box by default when we open up property tab builder there is one group box added already so we don't have to add, add it again so this is the button that we are going to discuss this is the element and we can add this element to the group box by double clicking or dragging and drag and drop method before that you have to highlight the group box so that there is a border around it and now double click on the radio button radio button is added i will add few more text boxes as well to demonstrate this how this work so i can either drag and drop or i can double click i will add few text boxes and also now you can uh, arrange them as you want by dragging among them We have added all the necessary element from the first palette to the middle column and let's use this third column to change the attributes of each and each and every individual elements. Begin with the group box. Click on the select the group box so that group box is selected. You can see from the third column it is group box. Under the caption change the name of the group box. So this will appear on the top of the interface. What I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to use three different manufacturing method, sheet metal, CNC and weldman. And I will introduce different parameters for each manufacturing method. So that when we select each options using radio button, only the only particular elements would be available under that selection for us to enter necessary data so I will type the heading as manufacturing method method and we can set the default uh, attributes expanded or collapsed I will select expanded and now you can see this group box is highlighted uh, the heading is added to the group top of the interface now let's change the attributes of this radio button click on that button now all the properties are available in third column now I need three uh, radio buttons for three manufacturing method so you can change the quantity from here make it three 
let's change the heading I will add type of manufacturing type of manufacturing and under the name I will use the same I will use production method and I will use the same heading to the property name this property and label as similar to what you have in property custom property dialog box when you go to file and select properties you can open up summary information dialog box from that summary information dialog box under custom property you can see the property name and the value as well it is same here as well so the production name of the property I will custom property is production method and I will rename these three label CNC you can see the radio button is updated and sheet metal and weldman leave the value blank so that the user can add them from the interface and from here configuration you can either add this to a specific configuration or you can add this to the whole part select show on custom tab and now we have labeled the each radio button as required we will go to advanced option after next before that I will change all these text box attributes click on this text box change the title of the text box as material and over here you can go you have you can have the same uh, property name property type and property value similar to custom property uh, dialog box similar to summary information dialog box so I will use the same name material and I will keep the type as text for the value you can either add the value from the drop down list or you can leave it blank so that user can add this manually at the interface even for the property name you can select something from the predefined list or you can add manually from the configuration make it show on custom tab first dialog box is completed go to the second one change this to sheet metal thickness and the custom property would be sheet metal thickness type leave the type as text and value blank change the configuration change the configurations to show on custom tab go to the next text box and change this to bending radius and now change this here use the same keep the type as text value empty and configuration show on custom tab go to the next one change the caption title of the text box to weld typical weld size and change then use the same title to the property name type text value empty and configuration show on custom tab go to the last one change the heading of the text box to finishing and use the same heading 
property name as well keep the type as text and leave the value field blank configuration changes to show on custom tab all right now we have changed the attributes of each and every element individually for the interface now go back to the radio button again let's see how we can define different parameters for each manufacturing category we can do it using advanced option you can see this there is a box below each manufacturing method now let's select the elements that we need to appear when we select CNC option we use we, we will make this material appear when we select production method as CNC so selecting that is easy you can click on this box until then you can see this gold line border then you can easily go and click on the element that you want to add it is material text box is added when you click and click on again you can unselect it now for the CNC we need material and click on sheet metal under sheet metal we need sheet metal thickness and bending radius under weld bond we need typical weld size and finishing now we have different parameters defined for each radio button everything is everything looks good now we can move forward template is completed when you save this template it will appear on custom properties tab in task pane let's go ahead and click on save and usually we save this in this location SOLIDWORKS language english so give it a proper name let's type radio button and click on save now we can close the window now let's see how we can use this to add custom properties to this part click on file and go to properties under the custom property you can see nothing and under configuration specific custom properties you can see nothing so now I'm going to add custom properties to this tab click cancel and go ahead and click on custom properties now if you have more than one custom properties uh, property templates are available for part for for this particular part uh, file type then you have to use, use this drop down list to select the custom property template you want for this part so now we have two templates select radio button that is the one we just did here we go now you can see we have got these three radio buttons for different type of manufacturing method and uh, CNC sheet metal and weld pen. when we select each radio each button the different parameters would appear click on sheet metal then sheet metal thickness and bending radius click on weld one then you can see typical weld size and finishing let's see how this work click on CNC I will add material as a steel this is not relevant to this particular part just for an example so I will go ahead and click apply now go to file properties here we go now you can see the production method is it should be CNC and material is steel and now oops we need to do one more thing I will show you how to edit I will show you how to edit the property tab a custom property template 
again using property type builder and we can go ahead and click on open and select that radio button again click open now click on this production method we have to define the value for the label so make this CNC and make this sheet metal and make this weldman now this is the cost property name custom property name and this is the value these are the label that are adding in front of each button now go ahead and click save and close the window all right now go and click apply go to cnc still and go and click apply go to file file properties oops let's delete these two let's try it from the beginning go here change the change it to sheet metal and sheet metal thickness let's say 2 millimeter and bending radius let's say 1.4 millimeter go ahead and click apply go to file go to properties all right you can see material is steel sheet metal thickness 2 millimeter bending radius 1.4 millimeter click cancel I'll go ahead and click delete and uh, save the part and close SOLIDWORKS open back again now let's open the part that we just closed go to uh, custom properties property tab and uh, production method select as CNC material steel click apply go to file properties all right and you can see the production method is CNC material steel file properties here you go production method CNC and material we have to add material steel apply all right now I will delete these two again let's try with the other one select sheet metal add sheet metal thickness 2 millimeter and bending radius 2.4 millimeter and click on apply then go back to file properties production method sheet metal sheet metal thickness 2 millimeter bending radius 2.4 millimeter delete click ok go to custom property tab select weldman typical weld size 6 millimeter fillet finishing powder coating click apply go to file select properties here we go production method weldman typical weld size 6 mm fillet finishing powder coat click ok and save the part I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial this is really interesting tool that we can use based on your application please like the video add your thoughts into comment field watch my set of videos under custom properties and property tab builder to understand this tool completely S subscribe my channel to get new video updates Thank you everyone for watching.